everyone, happy Friday. Um, I'm out today in our 110 high capacity pickup. Not a full twisted build by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, just a really good, honest vehicle. It's covered eight and a half thousand miles. It's had some very, very light twisted touches applied to it. Now these are things that you could apply to your own vehicle. Uh, to any vehicle you're looking at buying. Um, Defender is an incredible vehicle that you engage with, it gets under your skin, but there are always going to be Defenderisms that you do like, Defenderisms that you don't like, and little things that we've applied to this 110, just to make it more usable. It's a work truck, it always will be. What a really cool, fun thing. Um, if you've got a 17, 18 year old and you want to put them in something relatively safe, not relatively quickly, they can only carry one passenger, then something like this is ideal. Um, it's got a massive load bed on the back, but there's always things. Defender always had a boat-like steering wheel. They're absolutely ginormous. And that's highlighted more in something like this. It is, because it's a truck cab, you don't have as much recline on the seats. We can't change that. That's a physical bulkhead behind me. So your seat is in this position. So having a boat-like steering wheel, what that means is this arm's pressed right up against the window. You have no room for your knees. I'm six foot and I'm sitting here in relative comfort because we've changed the steering wheel. It's not expensive. It's not going to break the bank. We do things slightly differently at Twisted when we fit a steering wheel. We don't just clag it on and go, that's it, there you go, you've got a new steering wheel. You've got either a 36 or a 48 spline boss. Ours is a lovely slimline version, so it keeps the steering wheel as far away from you as possible. But you only have 36 or 48 splines worth of adjustment. Now that doesn't always allow you to get the steering wheel absolutely straight. So what we do is we put the steering wheel on, we put the boss on, and we get underneath the vehicle. And we then make minor adjustments till your steering wheel is sitting absolutely straight. Now at the same time we're under there, it may well be that we adjust your lock stops because the turning circle of a standard Defender, as we know, is poor, to say the least. Uh, it, it's probably easier to turn your, your narrowboat around in a canal than it is a Defender 110 or 130. So we adjust the lock stops. We make nice tweaks in there that make it more usable. Now this one, we've also fitted a set of our gray 18 inch sport wheels onto. Now they're an ET0 offset wheel. That means that they sit outboard. Um, they sit flush with the edge of the arch effectively. Now that combined with adjusting your lock stops on the vehicle means that I've just spun around in a fairly tight space very, very easily. And not only do they help with your steering, with your handling, they give you a wider platform, they look brilliant as well. So for something like this that looks like a working vehicle, it elevates it. So little things there that really help. We also in here have applied some lovely little leather tops to the dashboard, contrast stitching. But the biggest one for me is this cubby box in the centre here. It's beautifully trimmed as you'll see, but we raise the lid on it. And in standard Defender, I'll try and show you in a second with a standard vehicle that we, we have. Um, but you sit too low and it's a natural position to sit with your hand on the gear lever in here because of the, uh, the small cabin area. So you want something that sits at the right height. You don't want something that's too low. You're leaning over to the side. You want a comfortable driving position where you sit up in the seat. So the combination of little touches on this car really make all the difference. So I'll try and show you a little bit now of standard versus what we've done here. So just for comparison, I've jumped in one of our standard delivery mileage 90s. We bought as the, the, the part of the 240 that last off the line that we, we ordered. Immediately you will see this steering wheel is so much bigger. I've got so much less room here. The seats actually I can get a little bit further back in here because I'm not restricted by a truck cab down the back but I don't have as much room. The other thing 
we've just pointed it out is this cubby box here you can see it's got a very very thin lid on it and actually if i lean on that i'm sitting almost in a central position i'm not sitting where i want to be where it's comfortable and hand on gear lever there you can see i'm a good couple of inches off so going back now to the 110 high cap that we've been out in you will see such a difference in there immediately what a difference i'm sitting there my elbows where it needs to be i've got room this side to move around to make sure i can operate my wipers correctly what a small difference inexpensive small change that at twisted we do right it will sit centrally it will sit with your wheels pointing the right way we operate we uh, change your lock stops so you get the best of having a better steering wheel. It's beautifully leather trimmed. You've got the choice of spokes on here. You can have them in black or silver. Again, we've even got a wood rimmed one as well. And it just feels nicer in your hands. It's there, it's controllable. Thinner rim as well around here uh, from the standard one. The standard one's quite big and, uh, and chunky there. Feels like you're, you're driving a bus really. Um, that is just perfect. And it doesn't hinder your view of your dials either some of the very very small wheels you can't see your speedometer and uh, the bits you want to see this you've got perfect vision of everything now, clearly there's a lot of things that we would change about it if, if if it were a twisted full build but actually just some simple tweaks and additions make such a difference to your everyday vehicle so whether you use your defender for the school run whether you use it for mountain rescue whether you use it for towing your livestock about in a trailer why shouldn't you have something that you enjoy using day to day another defender here as honest as the day is long just stunning look that's a farm truck that's that's what we have all over here in our, our little area of north yorkshire but that man in front probably spends his day jumping in and out of the Defender. Why do you need it with a steering wheel that you're bumping your knee on all the time and you, you know, you, you haven't got anywhere to rest your arm. He's probably coming out in the morning, you know, out to go and check on the sheep or something. He's got his mug. Well, you want a perfect armrest for those things. It's, um, let's make these vehicles work for you. And, you know, whether that's coming in and having a full build done or whether that's having five six hundred pounds worth of work doing it might make all the difference to you when you're a defender so you know let's help let's do what you know we can to make your defender better for you So guys, there you have it. Just a couple of little tweaks that we can make to your Defender. Or oh, this one is of course available on our website. So if you want to head over there, have a little look. But thanks ever so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you again next week. All the best.